what's up everybody this is dds in this video i am doing my dds podcast it's been a minute since i've done one and what i want to focus on today is really about finances and investments and things of that nature and just a quick announcement on that stuff and what i plan on doing with it so you guys know that i'm big on the stock market and things of that nature if you are interested in starting with stocks i will put a link to robin hood in the description below where if you sign up through the link you will get a free stock as on i also will get a free stock excuse me i will also put a link to acorns where you will get free money and i'll get some free money out of that as well acorns is a way where you can invest and it's kind of like a i don't want to call it a mutual fund you pick a portfolio and they invest the money for you and you can do roundups and things of that nature to where you just invest little it's like you can build up some money over time i've been using it for a few years a couple years actually and i only put in five dollars a week and they they like round up my debit card transactions but i don't use it much but that money has grown significantly and it's a nice chunk of change in there after only two years of use so i'm happy about that but my main thing that i like to do is pick stocks and that's what i do through robin hood right now you know the markets are all over the place due to tariffs and things of that nature and i'm personally i'm looking at buying more when the market's down i always look to buy more and everything's going back up now because it was like a few days ago stuff went stuff went down terrible like i lost i lost a nice amount but i was still up though that's the thing when i invest at one point it will put me if i invest here and it goes up to here let me try and get on camera where you can see it and then it drops like it did and it went down here i'm still up but now it's going back up so it's weird everything is all over the place and that's the thing about the market the market for me is really about buying and holding and picking good companies i do sell stocks at certain times depending on what's going on with it or i may have an eye on another stock that i want to take the money out of here and invest in this other company and i'm going to talk about all that even more soon but before i even get on that i want to talk about what inspired me to make this video i watch vlad tv um sometimes you know it's just i really look at some of that stuff it's just i mean it is just entertainment but that's really all it ever is to me except for his videos where he talks about stocks because he talks about how he's big in stocks and versus real estate and all that i don't have any real estate investments yet i do plan on getting some eventually and i will also document that journey but again that's I'm going to talk about that later on in the video. So for this one, what inspired me to make this today was today I sat down and watched the video. I believe it was about 40 minutes from Vlad TV. It was a flashback of an interview that Sway did with a guy named Wall Street who was serving life in prison. <laughs> now you might be like, well, what does this have to do with anything? He is a stock expert in a sense. He learned how to flip his money in investments on wall street so he's in prison talking to the guards you know have you thought about your retirement this way have you thought about doing this and he became a teacher where he had to um you know teach people the information and share the knowledge about the stocks and i share that with you guys i'm gonna put a link to that video below because i do want you guys to watch that but i shared that with y'all and i feel it's important for you guys to watch it for those of you who have not invested yet because some of you will say oh I've always been interested in stocks, but I just don't know enough about it. Oh, I, I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. This, that, and the third. Watch the video. Dude learned how to invest while in prison. <laughs> and he made enough money off, like he's making enough money off of it. And I believe he said his thing was when you go to prison, you know, you sit there for all that time and you're spending money on stuff while you're in prison and whatnot. Well, how come you can't invest that money in that way when you get out of prison you have something there to go to where as you know i personally haven't been through the system or anything like that but i know people who have gone through it and that's a common thing you know you go in for years and you come out and you don't have nothing starting all over and for him it's like we're teaching them how to elevate and he go he even goes into like being taught that like you should be taught that stuff in school and things of that nature and why he thinks that it doesn't work and how you can teach 18 year olds and things of that nature and his techniques for teaching people so i say that to say you guys should check it out because if a guy in prison could really learn about financial literacy then that's something that anybody could do you just gotta put the time in with it just like with anything you gotta put the time in and keep going with it now i'm no expert at all like i don't consider myself an expert i'm just somebody who studies this stuff i like to watch i watch business videos i read business articles i actually invest my money and i know a little bit of something there's tons of stuff out there different there's stock market there's real estate there's forex there's 
a whole bunch of other stuff you can do. You can start business or invest in other people's business. If you just somebody, like if I know somebody right here wants to get his business off the ground, and he's like, oh, I need $15,000 and I'll give you, you know, 10% of the company. I know that sounds a little crazy, but some stuff like that does happen. And I'll give them that and then I'll, I'm getting a percentage of the profits every year, every month. However, we're going to split it up in a contract. So there's different ways of making investments. So I really want it to um, put that out there because I feel like that's really the key to getting anywhere. And even with financial literacy, we'll take the investments out of it. I believe in building systems of passive income. I'm a huge, huge advocate of passive income a lot of the majority of my income is passive whether it's the video course that i did that's passive income because i shot it already i put in all the work i edited it that sounded crazy edited it <laughs> I, I worked on the video i uploaded the video to the server on teachable.com and it sits there and it generates money every month now it ranges up and down for what it is, but every month it's a check coming in because of the work that I put in for that. I may have to go in and do some marketing and things of that nature, but outside of that, or update it when something new pops up. But for the most part, I don't have to do anything with it. I already did the work. These YouTube videos, there's videos that I put up over a year ago that's bringing in more money than a video I dropped today. You know, I'll, I'll drop a video today and it only get. 100 views 200 300 400 500 views the first day but those videos that's been up for a longer amount of time they may bring in a thousand views you know what i'm saying it's just and then that generates more money in different streams of revenue as like affiliate marketing is tied to that so if somebody watches a video i did last year and they like the product i talked about or whatever they go and purchase that product i get a percentage of that so that's something that i'm really big on because Truth be told, if other people, like if the average person was to take the time to develop something that they're passionate about and develop, turn, find a way to turn it into some sort of passive income, they would be able to change their life. I mean, if you get an extra two or three hundred dollars a month passive, you probably would have a, like your life would feel a little bit better. And I know the statistics out there are crazy. Like the majority of people don't even have a thousand dollars in their savings account. So if you were working, you're able to generate an additional three hundred dollars a month. You will be able to stack some money. And I feel like that's really key. And I like to push that message. And even with the guy Wall Street in the Vlad or Sway interview, whichever you want to call it. That was something that he touched on, too, like where people don't have money like that. And if you know how to make money and it's on you, then it's part of your this is what you're here for is to help share it with people. Like I said, I'm not an expert at all, but if I could tell you that over the past, let me pull it up right now so I can give you the exact numbers because I've been in the stock market for two, not even two and a half years yet. And I'm not even going to give you the exact numbers, but I will give you the percentage that I own. Um, earned so far so like today today my investments are up 2.2.51 percent from where they were yesterday you know if you're in a bank account you're not making that much money um so over the whole two years of me being in the stock market of since february 2017 i have generated a, a 76.92 to the second 76.92 percent return so if I had put a hundred thousand dollars in there, I'd have got seventy six percent of a hundred thousand dollars over those two years. So uh, I'm just gonna say seventy five percent. So seventy five percent of a hundred thousand dollars is seventy five thousand dollars. So if I'd have made seventy five thousand dollars over two years, that puts me at a little bit over thirty seven thousand dollars. Hopefully, I'm doing my math right, not embarrassing myself. But you guys get the point. So I feel like that this stuff is very important. Like even if you put a hundred dollars in, you'd get seventy five dollars back. Like bro, you making your money? You buying something to make you money, even through the ups and downs. Now, one thing I will say that I agreed with Wall Street on was the um, like he looks up to Warren Buffett. That's somebody I looks up to. He Warren Buffett likes to do the buy and hold thing. I believe I could be wrong, but I believe that Wall Street was saying that he buys. He, he, he will sell the stocks when they get high and then he'll wait for them to go back lower and buy more. Me, I kind of ride it out. But he was saying that's what people, why some people with retirements don't grow because they just buy, like they'll just buy it and hold it. But I would like to add more to it. Like if I see a stock going down, 
I'm gonna keep my shares in there, it, it, even if it went high. If it's up here, I'm gonna leave it there because you never know how much higher it's gonna go and eventually it's gonna come down. He talked about that too. When you up here, it's only one place you can go and that's, I guess you, when you're at the top, top, the only one place you can go is down a little bit, then it'll come back up. So the thing is, when stuff goes down, I'm buying more. When stocks go low, like if it's like buying something on sale and it goes back up in value. So I'm not gonna keep going on that. I want you guys to really watch that video. I would have inserted clips of the video in here, but I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything like that. And it's very, very important for me, I feel, to put that out there because that's something that I'm big on. Like, I feel like that's my passion in a sense now. I really care about financial literacy. I wish that I'd have been taught it more. I've made a video about that. And, you know, I'm just grateful to have been in a position to where I could take the time to learn myself. And I'm not the expert at it, but I really understand things and it's very important. So without further ado, I'm going to talk about something that I plan on doing here in the near future. I plan on making a Facebook, a private Facebook group for my investment. Or I may put it on my website just for my investments so that way people can I'm debating on a price point. I'm I'm going to charge for it where people will pay like a monthly fee. And from there, it will be all of my, like the stocks that I chose will be in there. The stocks that I pick when I buy stocks, or even just if something is going on in the market, I'll say, oh, do I think I should sell this Amazon stock because of this? Or do I think I should hold it because of that? You know, things of that nature, share more information. We can talk back and forth. Like I said, I'm not an expert though. I'm not going to say I'm an expert. I don't know everything. So this will probably be more for you guys that are beginners. And as we all level up, we'll be able to level up. And then what I want to do is have people who are experts in certain areas come in and talk to you about that stuff. Like for me, I don't know about real estate yet. I know a little bit about real estate, but I don't know too much about it. Like for me, one of my goals is to accumulate properties and rent them out, passive income. I haven't done it yet. So I, I would look crazy up here trying to tell you guys, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. But I know somebody, my barber, she buys real estate and flips it, sells it, things of that nature. So that would be somebody that I could bring in who can be like, okay, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, this is how you do this. Or if I know somebody that knows about Forex, Come on the thing and talk about Forex and how you could do this. Like I said, I'm not a, I don't know much about that side of things. So I would get somebody else that knows about those things. So I believe it would be great, a great place to try and help um, you guys learn financial literacy. And I could learn some things and just start some stuff to get more people involved. So I think I'm going to do it on Facebook instead of doing it on my own website because I have to probably make a separate website. Not 100% sure, may do that, but... This is something that's coming up in the near future. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. And outside of that, man, I think I'm going to cut this video there. I really want you guys to check that out. I'm going to either drop this video on Friday or Saturday. So you guys should have hopefully 40 minutes somewhere to dedicate to watching that. At first, it's more so of his background and how he got to where he was in prison. But then it goes into the investment stuff not far from there. And like I said, it's... It's a quick interview, 40 minutes, and it's packed with a lot of information that I feel like will open your eyes or even inspire you even more if you're into investing. Like for me, I'm like, man, I need to read some more books on investing and try to figure out some more stuff that I don't know. And just it just made me feel good because I'm like, this guy in prison is making money off of investing. What's anybody's excuse? Like for real. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.